What's up, YouTubers? Matador here with another talents video for level 60 Shaman. This is for Classic WoW, which is uh, a 2019 release, a re release of vanilla World of Warcraft, which originally came out in 2004. So today we're going to take a look at Elemental Shaman in a 40 man raiding environment. We're also going to take a look at Restoration Shamans, which is the go-to spec for raiding shamans. So Elemental Shaman are not viable in a 40-man raid environment in vanilla or classic World of Warcraft. However, we're going to theorycraft a spec anyway for what it might be to actually raid this Elemental. The problem is that you don't have enough mana regeneration to make any kind of damage sustainable over an extended period of time. In other words, you're not going to do well on boss fights that take any amount of time, aka every boss fight. It might be viable in 10, maybe even 20 man content where things are not as uh, intense and they're not as long. So. We're going to start putting points in Elemental because there's really only one spec to go with. First of all, you want to put 5 points in Convection which reduces mana cost because mana is your main priority to regulate. You're also going to put 5 points in Concussion which increases the damage of your Lightning Bolt specifically, but also your Shock Spells which you won't use as much. Mostly you're going to be spamming Lightning Bolt. Next, we're going to move down to the required talents, which is Elemental Focus, which allows you a 10% chance when you're casting to create clear casting, so that your next spell costs zero mana, which is super convenient. You're going to put 5 points in Call of Thunder, but that, because that increases crit strike chance of your Lightning Bolt spells by 6%. Anytime you get a crit or hit talent, it's an important thing to take. Now you're at a crossroads where you have to decide what talents you want to take before you move on to the next row. It doesn't particularly matter which ones you take, however I'm going to recommend that you put 3 points in Elemental Warding because that allows you to take less damage uh, from the Elemental effects that will be hitting you on boss encounters, particularly fire is going to be important when you're just starting out in Molten Core. I'm also going to recommend that you put three points in Call of Flame, even though almost everything you fight is going to be immune to fire in the first couple of raids, it's still helpful when you're out in the main world soloing, and then nothing else is really helpful here. Cooldown or Shock doesn't particularly matter because it's not really your go-to ability. It's up to you, but I'm throwing them in Call of Flame. Next, you're going to put one point in Elemental Fury, for that 100% crit bonus, you'll put 2 points in range so that you can stand back with the other casters, and you'll put all 5 points in Lightning Mastery, which reduces cast time of Lightning by 1 second. You're going to cap it off with the bottom talent, Elemental Mastery, uh, which is the 3 minute cooldown, but it's a 100% crit chance and free mana cost spell. This finishes out your Elemental Tree. And now we're going to move over to the Restoration Tree, where we'll put the rest of the points. In the first row, it doesn't particularly matter which choice you make. However, I'm going to suggest that you reduce the mana cost of healing. In case you're off healing that day, it's better to conserve mana than to have faster cast time. I'm also going to suggest that you reduce the mana cost of your totems, because no matter what spec you're in as a shaman, you are always going to be responsible for dropping totems for your party. Because of this, you will also put one point in Totemic Mastery uh, to increase the range uh, to 30 yards for your totems. Absolutely crucial to DPS is hit chance. So you're going to take Nature's Guidance, which gives you a whopping 3% chance to hit with melee attacks, but also with spells. Now you need to get to the next uh, rank here, so you have one point to put anywhere you want. My suggestion is just to throw it in Improved Reincarnation, which gives you 10 minutes off your Reincarnation spell, but it doesn't particularly matter. The next five points you're going to put in Tidal Mastery, which gives you an extra 5% chance to crit with Lightning. 
and this is the makeup for Elemental. Next we're going to talk about the Restoration Talent Tree. The best way to go Resto for Shaman is just to go all in and put almost all of your talents in the Resto Tree, which is as straightforward as it sounds. You're going to reduce the mana cost of all of your abilities for healing and for totems. You're also going to decrease the cast time for healing wave because your healing wave spells are going to be used uh, primarily on the main tank. The majority of the time you're actually going to be using chain heal if you're healing the raid anyway because it's one of the only AoE healing abilities in vanilla and classic WoW. But regardless, if you're going all in, you're setting yourself up to be an MT healer or to be a raid healer, so we're putting all our points in here. You want to put three points in Ancestral Healing, which increases your target's armor value by 25% if, if you crit on them when you're healing, which is great for tanks. You're going to put five points in Chance to Avoid Interruption. You'll put one point in Totemic Mastery, which increases the range with which you can uh, your totems will affect your friendly targets. You will put five points in the Mana Spring and Healing Stream Totem benefit. You'll put five points in Tidal Mastery, which increases crit effect chance by 5% for your healing spells, uh, which is awesome to try to proc Ancestral Healing. You'll also put three points in Healing Way, 100% proc to increase the, the the effect of your healing wave on that target uh, by 6%, which stacks up to three times, so 18%. That's pretty amazing when you're MT healing. This is your oh crap button, Nature Swiftness. Uh, it's a three minute cooldown, but if you Nature Swiftness and then max rank healing touch, uh, you can heal a significant portion of someone's health. You'll put all five points into Purification, which increases healing spells by 10%. That's pretty straightforward. And you'll put the one point at the bottom in Mana Tide Totem, which is a long cooldown, five minutes, uh, but restores mana to you and your group members, so likely you'll be paired with the other healers in the group. Now you have seven points left, uh, which can go wherever you like. My suggestion is to put two points in Improved Reincarnation so that you can reincarnate every uh, 40 minutes instead of 60 minutes and put the other five in increasing your maximum mana because vanilla and classic wow is all about mana sustainability and that's the all-in spec for resto shaman thanks for checking out the video today feel free to like subscribe or leave a comment so i know that you're interested in seeing more videos like this also, feel free to check out the guides on Wowhead and other sources online for additional alternative specs for best-in-slot items and leveling practices. Thanks, guys.